So now as we get to the top of the wall, we're dealing with the overhangs. That's when we have to talk about ventilation and completing that venting system that we started with the roof. We actually put a nailer across the house at the same point as the back part of the carport. Um, we took two by fours, we actually cut angles on them that are on the same angle as the carport and we just nailed them up and we ended up strapping it from there. This way when we put the soffit up we'll have a nice transition. Well the reasoning behind bringing this to the same transition is when we're bringing the soffit across it would be on the same plane and would give it a much better look, a smooth look versus uh, being a little wavy. Your overhangs lead into your attic mm -hmm. and those are going to be the intake for that venting system. Okay. And we're using the Invisivent soffit. Okay. CertainTeed Invisivent soffit. And basically that soffit allows for air to penetrate through. It gives you 10 inches of free ventilating, so it allows for a lot of air to go through. We're installing a triple three Invisivent soffit on the front eaves of these house, on this house. So the airflow is actually going to be perfect through here so there's no buildup of moisture even the heat it'll let out the heat we don't want condensation buildup we're nailing it loose so for expansion and contraction the ridge vent on the top of the roof is where the air exhausts so that air is being drawn out of the attic through the peak and it comes in through your on your overhang. So before I just had wood basically and so that wasn't doing All you anything. had before was one little vent in the in the gable on that side of the house and that really if there's if there's no way for air to come in there's no way for air to get out. Right. So that's why it was probably 160 degrees up there. Exactly. So now you have a complete system where air moves freely through the attic. So any moisture that builds up in your home, when it raises into that attic, it gets dried out. Okay. And that keeps things from uh, getting moldy inside your home. Basically the same product that we're using for your overhang, the Invisivent, uh, is the same product that we're going to be using in the carport. Okay. Except it won't have the venting holes in it. In that carport, we took down all of the old stuff that you had. We had to do a little bit of strapping and we're going to have to do a little bit of framing to get it to work right. But now you're going to have a complete vinyl certainty and Visivent ceiling up there and it's going to be in the matching color uh, for the rest of your trip. At Marshall's, we put our heads together and came up with a solution by using CertainTeed's triple three soffit panel as a ceiling panel. Tie it into the main house, especially with the monogram that's going to go right against it on the main house wall. And then the last is a little bit of trim work that we have on your fascia boards and on, on your rake boards or the boards that go up your gable. And that again will be in the same color as, as your trim choice. Right. And, and those are, that's basically the finishing touches on the house. And I think you'll be pleased when it's finally done. You've chosen some, some beautiful colors. They go together really well, especially in the setting here in the woods. So uh, I think you'll be happy with the finished product. Yeah, I'm extremely happy with the process so far. So I uh, can't wait till it's done.